what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back now i said some things um you know about the situation with with the porn star you know i i, I went on a rant there you know what i'm saying and i know i know some of y'all are gonna have something to say about that and that's why you know what i'm saying it's gonna take me in this intro i'm gonna say a couple of things you know because maybe there were some things that was like you know maybe not as comprehensive or i didn't say it the way how i want to say it um but i think i made my point pretty clear you get what i'm saying um i'm not saying that these people are not normal people as i've tried to reiterate over and over again i'm not saying that they're not normal and they don't, don't they don't deserve to be treated as human beings but is that's the, the exact point i'm trying to make the exact point i'm trying to make is that they are human beings and that's the whole reason why I say they should be put in the same category as, say, an addict. Like, you don't move the same way around around an addict as you move around somebody who's not an addict. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, I just, I just don't. You get what I mean? So, the fact of the matter is, when I say that, I'm not saying that we should shun these people in any way. If anything, should be trying to help these people because they feel like a lot of them, even though they, you know, a lot of them, I believe that they made a conscious choice to do porn because they didn't know this. They probably didn't understand the stigma that's going to be behind it, or they did understand the stigma that's going to be behind it. And they still chose to do it. Um, these people are celebrated as celebrities in the society that we live in today they are they are celebrated like that is it is is it what it is supposed to be no i don't want a porn star to be a role model for my child no like it, it shouldn't be like that you get what i'm saying and people tend to make it seem like oh it's okay no it's not okay these things are not okay i don't think that even though i was exposed i was exposed to porn at a very young age and i've talked about it before and i laugh about it but it's a very serious matter at being addicted to whether it's masturbation whether it's sex is a serious issue it can affect you for a lifetime to come if you don't figure out a way to to cure that addiction that you have and i believe that everybody that does porn as an addiction to, to sex even if if you're being forced to do it you should find a way to get out you get what i'm saying um i know they are people i know they are kids i know they are like young porn stars young porn stars um girls that are forced into it by some dude that they met or something or they've been pimped into the porn in industry if you want to call it that so there are issues that we that could that we should be talking about when it comes down to that and i'm talking about this on a serious note you get what i'm saying like on a serious note it's time when it comes on to certain things people tend to want to normalize certain things and i don't believe something like this should be normalized because i don't want my daughter to come up thinking that that's an option you get what i'm saying because it shouldn't be it shouldn't be an option you know what i'm saying and as much as and, and as i said before you're i'm talking from the perspective of somebody who was addicted to porn i've said it many times when you know what i'm saying i've said it many times on this channel you get what I'm saying? And sometimes I joke around about it, you know what I'm saying? But talking about it on a serious issue, masturbation is not something that should, that, you get what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you, you shouldn't do it at all. I'm saying when it comes down to the addiction of it, like, you know what I'm saying? When you're, when you're doing it like two, three times a day, you get what I'm saying? Like, it, it it's not good for you. It's not good for you no addiction is good for anybody no matter what kind of addiction it is it's just not good too much of anything is never good for anything you get what i'm saying no matter what it is um so um so yeah man that's all i have to say about that but anyways we're gonna jump into this i'm not even gonna say anything else i just wanted to say that because while i was you know looking over my review um off that i was re-watching it and i was like maybe i said too much or i said too little so i decided to kind of address it here i know 
probably some of you guys watch my intros i don't know because i know people even though i'm pre-recording it i know people is going to have a problem with what i said somebody is going to have a problem with what i said and i didn't say that i'm not trying to offend anyone that's the thing I'm just not I'm just i'm not trying to offend anybody i'm just telling you how i feel about the subject you get what i'm saying particularly even if it was me in that industry i would never defend it i know people that work in the porn industry man i know people um being in business affords you those kind of opportunities to meet different kind of people people from 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 different walks of life now am i saying that porn is not a billion dollar industry yes it is but it but should it exist in my opinion and my personal belief i don't think it should but at the end of the day there are plenty of things out here that are legitimate businesses that you could say that should not exist you get what i'm saying but it is what it is you live in a society of capitalism you know what i mean it's just what i'm saying but anyways let's jump into this i will see you guys for the review Uh, I want to say this in the review first and foremost, all opinions are welcomed on this channel, including mine, right? <laughs> so I'm not going to sit here because I know some of y'all are going to put your opinion about some of the stuff I said in the episode. I've had very strong opinions on certain things and the reason why I do this reaction is because I can, I can do this right without backlash well not necessarily back because it's not really backlash um it's more of like um i can get an alternative opinion of things from uh, how harder people think you know but you guys are you know you know on the channel you sub to the channel and some of you guys you, you know you hear you don't want to hear about that stuff you know when i talk about it you don't want to you don't want to hear about it you know because people you know tend to have very strong opinions about you know certain issues and when it comes on to certain topics i'm not afraid <laughs> you guys should know this by now i am not afraid to to give you guys my take on it and my belief and my belief system we don't have to be friends you get what i'm saying i'm a person who loves to have constructive conversations you know what I'm saying? Something that leads somewhere where we can come to an understanding. You know, sometimes I'm not going to budge. You're not going to budge from your point. You know, people has talked about all this stuff for ages and ages. And then the conversation will go on even when we're all gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These conversations are going to continue until the end of time itself that's my belief i don't think these topics are ever going to be okay with everybody you know what i mean um you know and and it is not a right and wrong situation it's more it's more of like as i said people make these decisions you know and you can't look at somebody and be like oh you should not have made that decision you know um because you don't know what's going to happen in that person's future Things can go horribly wrong. Things can go perfectly right, you know? So you don't know. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm not taking away anybody's choice because free will is something that is given to all of us. Um, and we should be able to make that choice willingly. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm, I can have an opinion on your choice. You get what I'm saying? But that does not take away your right to choose and to decide what you want to do so barring that we're in belfast right um the suns are in belfast finally but i'm still worried about what's going home what's going on at home because whether or not i agree with what tara is doing or what she's about to do her scheduling the appointment i don't think she's gonna go through with it i'm still worried that she will go through with it because i think this if Jax finds out about this you know what I'm saying? It's going to change their dynamic. It's going to change their relationship. You know what I mean? So not too worried about the porn girl as much because she's God knows how many babies she's aborted already. You know what I'm saying? Because of the job. 
you know and she could make that excuse all she want but she doesn't have to do it right now but because she wants to continue her career she has she feels like she has to do it so in any case i don't want to start up back on that so when it comes on to them being over there and them going up against jimmy and he's not going to deliver his son when he already gave away the man's son i know there's something fishy in the background going on you know what i'm saying there's something fishy going on in the background that is yet to be seen I don't know what's going on with the IRA. Do they really want to get rid of Jimmy? Or are they setting up the sons for failure? You get what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on because why would you give away his son if you're planning to give his son back to him? That would have made no sense. You would have just let the Abel stay at the orphanage or whatever. I mean, they them nuns have guns, man. They got guns over there. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> them nuns be bust. <laughs> anyways guys um that's all i have to say man it's just that this um this dynamic right now we just gotta see how it plays out you know what i mean i don't know there's something looming in the background that i'm not gonna see coming it's gonna be a surprise for me at the end of this season i don't know what it is but it's like some things just don't add up right now so i don't want to say oh this you know what I'm saying? Fo following the storyline of what's happening right now, there's some okie doke that's going to take place, and I don't know what it is. I don't trust this priest. This priest is the X factor. I just don't trust him. I don't know why. I feel something in my bone that something is going to happen with this priest. I don't know what it is, but I don't. I don't know. There's so many things. Um, McGee um the other one you know what i'm saying o'neill right there's so many factors that is going on you don't know who is really who i don't know if this priest is really really wants jimmy dead you know what i'm saying because they could kill him without the ira knowing if the ira wants to get rid of a leader they could just kill him or hire someone to take him out I just don't get it they're that powerful in ireland so it does doesn't add up like why would you want Jax to take out to take him out it just does not add up guys and that's where i'm kind of jumping off that train you know what i'm saying because it just it just doesn't add up certain things that is going on just doesn't add up it just doesn't make sense you know what i'm saying even though he explained it perfectly why they can't take him out I'm like, dude, you could just hire y'all can hire people to take out Jimmy. It's not that hard. Like, why wouldn't you go that route if y'all want to get rid of this dude so badly? Why wait until the sons come to the or wait on him to have an excuse to, to use them to take him out? It, it, you know what? If it goes down this way, then then I guess it is. But I'm it's just I just have this crazy feeling that this priest is not to be trusted this priest is not to be trusted because um he gave away abel why would he do that you know what i'm saying what are you gonna just go snatch abel from these new parents when it's time for jacks to go come on man and they shouldn't be trusting anybody over there but you know brothers are brothers so you gotta give them the benefit of the doubt for now until they see some fishy shit um but in any case man i'm looking forward to see what they're going to do next in the next couple of episodes we got what five episodes to go we just did seven and eight so we got yeah five episodes to go so yeah man appreciate y'all for tuning in as always leave your comments down in the comment section i know you guys might have a lot to say about what i said whatever it is i will respond in kind if needs be okay appreciate y'all leave a like on the video and i will catch you guys next time for some more sons of anarchy peace